My name is Stephen Powley. I'm head teacher of Widdicombe CAV Primary School down in Exmouth. We're a very large primary school, um, about 530 children, um, and our, our, our school is a church school. Well, as a successful school, one of the issues for us is um, supporting the need for a greater number of spaces in the area. And we, we have taken additional children. Uh, we've got to the stage now where to expand further, we needed some building work. Uh, and certainly we have on site a number of older buildings that, that have been here some time and become almost redundant. Certainly in terms of where the school sits, um, that is a critical question that's really at the base of what's important to us. We, we run schools with an outcome that we have outstanding or excellent learning and achievement. And in order to do that, um, we need to be using these spaces the right way for us. Um, a very inclusive school, so the need for additional spaces and how that will work in terms of dynamics, the, the size and the, the uh, light and the airiness of classrooms, for instance, um, and also the noise levels are really important. And we've managed you know, through this to, to be able to sit down and talk about some of those needs with our design team. And they have listened and we've ended up with you know, a building that's purpose built for us to, to do those things. Um, we utilise part of it in terms of extension community use. So after schools and, and during school time, we are using parts of those buildings um, to ensure that we have good links with our community, but also provide a resource, uh, rather like a learning hub. So we use it not just for parents, but also with our strategic partners in terms of training and functions that happen after school. Um, and it's proving to be a very successful building, um, not just for classroom bases and learning during the daytime. Well, first of all, we've been delighted with the outcomes um, for a school of this size and trying to maintain um, excellence in learning and teaching in our school is critical to us. So managing the project in terms of what happens on a day-to-day -day basis and also being very much part of those early initiatives in terms of design teams and what we actually needed was critical to us. We had an, uh, a very good relationship. It was critical to us early on uh, in the build uh, and the design process that we were part of that. And we felt very much working with the local authority, with our uh, approved partner through the local authority, MPS, that we sat down around a table to look specifically at what the school required and needed. Um, we've been extremely well supported by our local authority um, and that's been the consistent um, that, that's taken place. Um, and, and for us, uh, within education, of course, that's a critical part of um, ensuring that it's delivered. Obviously, um, projects are all part of a dynamic process. Um, and certainly, there are points along the way um, where you feel, actually, there's a great number of successes around this. Um, for us, I think at ground level with all my staff and, and, and the children in the school was actually just about making and managing the project so that it worked for us and we were enabled to be able to carry through the project. Um, some of the markers for us were obviously um, seeing the building going up and being part of that process of encouraging our uh, community and, and children to be part of um, what it's going to look like. That was an exciting time for us. Um, it, when we had handover and it was ours, um, being able to utilise and see and use those spaces that we sat around with the design team looking at um, has been great. critical things for us is about those classroom spaces in terms of how they function, how they work for us, and to in deliver the, the, the best learning that we can uh, for our school and with our children and increase those opportunities. And what I will say is that the spaces that we've got, including breakout rooms and how that works function functionality-wise, has been a great success for us. They're, they're very good classroom spaces, they're light, um, they're, they're certainly functionable. Um, and it allows us, um, it does make a difference to the learning that happens in our school.
Well, you know, again, to, to build a framework in terms of a in terms of a building for us to have classrooms like this, it was very important that the building was going to be up to um, success for the future. Um, and actually, I think we've achieved an incredible value for money over this framework um, and has delivered what we need as classrooms um, and, and learning rooms uh, for the school. So I was pleasantly surprised that, that we were able to, to have this building uh, built here. Um, and we're enjoying the benefits of that. Community-wise, um, we, we obviously um, involve our community um, regularly in our day-to-day -day activities at school. Partly um, with our building work is informing um, our parents um, and community about what's going on as we go through the build. Um, and communication is always uh, one of those areas that schools try to improve. Um, we did work closely um, at ground level with, with the uh, site managers um, from our construction company. For instance, um, health and safety was a critical part of this. So they came and worked with us during assembly times. They came and worked with us in terms of having a competition to see how much they remembered. Um, and again, we have a very large environmental area at our school um, and they utilise some of their materials to, to produce an insect ho house, which again drew the children into the, the fact they're part of this whole project and, and making it succeed. Uh, and again, you know, parents and, and community play a role in this because their ways into schools and the changes they had to make um, while the, the buildings are being built um, are, are quite challenging at times. So it, it has to be something we do all together and it's a critical part of us being successful in this. Communication is the critical one. I, I do feel that as a head teacher, you know, time and communication to be able to ensure that you know what that end product is going to look like um, and how it's going to be used. Um, we have a huge advantage now having been through this. Um, and you asked a question earlier on about would I want to replicate um, that type of building? Um, and the easy answer is yes. And we look at some of those processes to, to make it even better. Um, but we, you know, in terms of the project, in terms of where we are as an outcome, um, we've ended up with somewhere that's an excellent resource for the school uh, and it does drive our school in terms of being able to deliver excellent learning and that's what we're here for. In terms of lessons being learned, one of the things that, that we prepare ourselves for lots of things in engaging quite a short space of time in terms of a build project but quite a significant building um, and certainly um, that arena is spread out in terms of the ergonomics and how we deal with change of spaces like our hall where we serve several hundred children with lunch each day and we haven't got a hall. Um, so some of those lessons that I would say we learn from this is that it is critical that we maintain a balance with, with the people we work with, whether that's the construction companies or the build project engineers, etc, etc. Mm -hmm.